just a few minutes ago. We don't see it right now, but we saw these offshore birds. Yeah. Tell me what that means. So we had a big uh, flock of frigate birds move past us, and those frigate birds are normally hundreds of miles offshore. We experience them well, well uh, into the Gulf of Mexico, and to have them come in in big concentrations like that, they're normally kind of loners, is a surefire, ominous sign that bad weather is to come. That's actually how they used to tell hurricanes were coming back in the day before newscasts like yours. It's very interesting to learn that tidbit. Now, tell me about what kind of preparations did you take to protect your marina? So we closed preemptively early, uh, and before that time, we were having meetings, staff meetings, crew meetings, and kind of preparing teams. And all day Monday, we were lifting stuff off the ground, putting on hurricane doors, hurricane shutters, and preparing for high water. Luckily, this track has shifted, and we're not expecting high water now, and now we're dealing with the opposite effect of low water. Right, and now we can feel like we're in one of those bands. We feel the wind, the oh, gust, yeah. we're getting more water on us. Uh, tell me about, just relate this to what you felt during Hurricane Irma. This is very similar to early Hurricane Irma. We've got a long road ahead of us. This storm is moving a lot slower. Uh, it's very strong, so we still got a, a long day tonight and a long night tonight. But uh, we'll see how it shakes out. But unfortunately, it's given me a lot of those same vibes as Irma. And I'm hoping and praying for the people to our south that they are uh, prepared. Do you feel like the community, tourists, residents in this area really listened to local authorities and evacuated, took the necessary precautions to keep them and their families safe? Yes, I think uh, the evacuation went pretty smoothly. A lot of people left, and there's not much traffic on the beaches right now. Uh, there are some locals who always stay and there's some business owners like myself who uh, work together with our great team of volunteers to keep our assets safe and that's what we're doing right now. Okay last question we see this current just whipping through the pass this is so powerful and it can be really dangerous right? Extremely dangerous especially with the quick changes uh, I mentioned earlier how fast that tide receded normally a low tide it takes six eight hours for all that water to move this was half an hour so extremely increased tidal flows and that's what happens to boats if they're not tied up properly and that tide drops really fast like this lines can snap boats can break free and so you have to have really long lines to be able to account for either extremely low or extremely high water so that's what we're here to do today is check on all our vessels and make sure we're maintaining lines and hopefully staying safe as well of course dylan hubbard with hubbard's marina thank you so much for joining us and as you can see the the conditions are strengthening out here but of course we're staying safe as well and we'll send it back to you